guys, it's Great Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 8 of season 2 of Zombieland Saga, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I need to check something after this. I felt, oh god, she's so pretty. Best girl, she's so fucking pretty. No. No, it's so cute. But damn, like honestly, am I ready to see how she possibly died? I mean, yes, this is a two-parter episode, but at the same time, am I ready to see how the fuck she died? I think this might like hurt me. I mean, like Sakura's was the most <laughs> <laughs> hilarious um because sakura I, I still love her best girl but like he, i feel like your goodies is probably gonna make me cry because i do love her and she is so fucking underrated as hell and i'm like my girl need you know her ish mm-hmm -mm. I didn't think the rest of the girls would have been in this episode. He's so proud. 
precious. Oh my god, Katana. Oh my god. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That is it. <laughs> All I hear now is Roxas and freaking Riku. Kingdom Hearts, everybody. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> now we just need to see Tay and Lily. No, um, Tay, Lily, and uh, Sasuke. so pretty.
No. He's so fucking cute! Stop it! Oh my god! Oh, my babies! She's gorgeous. Like, ah. I need them to either release, like, an acrylic figure of her dresses like that, or just, like, an actual figure. <laughs> Just need sake and other. Gotta be around here somewhere. Don't be a chicken. Come on, you got this. Oh, oh, oh! Please tell me she still has it in like modern day episodes like oh You possibly could have died.
<laughs> Literally fucking everyone is here and I can't. Like, oh, we just need my CR2 and then we're done. <laughs> he might be a nuisance in the the sex. There we go, baby. <laughs> but he might be a nuisance. I don't know. He might like end up doing something to you, goody. Hell, he might even be the one to kill her. Oh, damn. You sure it's just fish? I don't think it's a stupid dream, though. Mm. Poor baby. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's something about him that is very suspicious. I, I, he's interesting, but very, you know, questionable. Mm. Yeah, it would be the hottest day of the year. And of course, you're going to end like this. Okay. So, number one, seeing literally everyone who was also born during your you caught easy, yeah, like, you goody, you goody, you cutty, you goody, you goody. Yes, you goody. You goody is here. It's awesome. I really love that because I really thought that everyone else and friends that she was not going to physically be in this episode. Um, okay. Ito. He, he's very interesting. Something tells me that everyone, of course, who we met, besides Francis Shushu, Ki, because of course Ki is Kitaro, something tells me that Ito is that police officer who found out, you know, that the girls are zombies, maybe. I'm not 100% sure because literally everyone from the modern day version um, is in a past episode now. Even the police officers. So, and I'm guessing the two guys who talked to Ki have to be the two fans who we saw at the beginning of the series, so in season one, who was literally at every single concert for Francis Shu. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's just the feeling I got, but one was really super, super skinny, and the other one was fat, so of course that couldn't be, but just, like, maybe they're, they're reincarnated and it's like that. I don't know. I mean, like, this was a very interesting episode. We're not clearly done, but... Whatever Ito threw to that person and whatever it said, because of course it didn't translate it, we're not going to know until next week. Because of course, like, these three are friends, officially as of now, but something's going to happen to them that basically ends in Yogiri's death. So it's either her death is going to be accidental, one, or it's going to be like maybe possibly, in my opinion, Ito, because he seems the most suspicious out of the three. Ito might murder her and such. Not 100% sure on that. That's just a little big old guess until next freaking Thursday. But, I mean, yeah, I think, you know, the relationship of these three, and I love the fact that, I mean, number one, your you kingdom hearts me again. Jesus Christ. Last week, you Steinsgate me. This week, your you kingdom hearts me. What you gonna do next week? Is there any other series that I've watched that has Mamoru and any other freaking Seiyu that I could possibly recognize together? <laughs> I, I mean, because, like, if somebody else... <laughs> It would be really funny if they got Sora's VA up in this show for next week. Then it would be hella crazy. But, like, now you got freaking Riku, Roxas, and Sora all talking to each other in feudal times. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But if it, because it really does seem like Ito might kill her. Because, like I said, you're doing it like, okay, here's two guys and one girl. Just like in Kingdom Hearts. Two guys and one girl. So, and of course you think like, okay, this is going to be a big old love, and love triangle. 
and it's, you know, they're going to fall for each other, or, you know, one person's going to fall for someone else, da 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 and then it's going to be like, hmm, who do you ship right now? This is kind of what it is right now, even though it seems like Ito doesn't really have feelings for Yagiri, there's something there, but then it seems at the same time it's more murderous or something because he is going to do something to her because it seems like maybe next week possibly you'll get he's gonna die and we're gonna go back to our modern day era or the present era where she currently is still a zombie and such it, it makes you wonder that like, when she dies will she still have the comb that he you know bought for her as a gift and such so then we know okay she still she doesn't really have memories of her past life anymore because i'm guessing like she's possibly asleep and she's just dreaming all of this and such like how with sakura you know hers happened like as it as it did she never really had dreams about it same thing i think for like i but i really just like um thought about it and such but yeah it was also nice to hear Tay talk just like a little bit. Thank you for giving me Sailor Moon feels again. Thank you. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 8 of Zombie Land Saga Season 2. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Thursday for episode 9. Bye, guys.